Sipa and welcome to my channel which is Complemental Economics. And today's class is about shifts in uh, demand curve and the supply curve. In the previous classes, we've already studied how demand curve is going to shift right or left, how supply curve is going to shift right or left and we have seen even equilibrium points. So right now, today's class, demand and the supply, the both are going to shift simultaneously towards right or left together yeah, in the opposite directions. When they are moving together yeah, in the opposite direction, how exactly it is going to be? So what will be the, uh, what kind of a change we are going to see in the price and quantity? So we are going to see that with the help of this diagrams and particular this table. So let me go with, in the simultaneous shifts uh, in a demand and supply curve, there are four possibilities. The first one, demand is shifting towards left. Supply is also shifting towards the left, same direction. The quantity is going to decrease, price it may, it, most probably it's going to increase or decrease, it will be constant. So in this diagram I will tell you what exactly in the picture. So demand is shifting towards right, supply is also shifting towards right. The, the third option here, uh, you know, the possibility is demand is shifting towards the left side and supply is shifting towards right. So in the third situation you can see that both are moving opposite direction. And the last option here, uh, demand is going to shift towards right and supply is going to shift towards left. In that situation, the four possibilities where demand and supply, they both are going to shift together. So what will be the uh, situation, how quantity and the price is going to move? So that we are going to see now with the help of diagram. The first panel, so we have two diagrams actually. The first diagram talks about two situations where both demand and supply, they both are moving together in the same directions. So that demand sup and supply, they both are moving towards left. Demand and supply, both are moving towards left. Panel B talks about the opposite things. So first, let me go with the first situation where demand and supply, both are shifting towards left side and both are shifting towards the right side. So how? Price and quantity is going to shift. So you have the panel A. In a panel A you have quantity in a X axis and Y axis you have price with a zero base. This is panel A. A is nothing but panel A and panel B. Two diagrams you have to explain this particular uh, you know options what we have. So now just imagine this This is the, the basic equilibrium, the first equilibrium, your actual equilibrium. So DD is zero. And S is 0. Can you see this? In this particular point, you have an equilibrium point in this. In this equilibrium point, you can see this is a DD0 and S is 0. They both are together. So they are in equilibrium point. The equilibrium point is E. So now, just assume that demand is shifting towards the right side. The, for the second situation here. Demand is shifting towards the right side and supply is also shifting towards the right side. Can you see both the things? So, demand is shifting towards right side, DD0 to DD1. Supply is, shifting, supply is also shifting towards right side which is SS0. SS0 and then DD0. So now, actual demand curve, actual supply curve, both shifted towards the right side. When both are shifted towards the right side, both are at the equilibrium point. When both are at the equilibrium point, demand and supply again, they reach equilibrium point. When they are at equilibrium point, that point is called point F. The new equilibrium point. This is the actual equilibrium point when demand and supply together, both are shifting towards the right side. So both are shifting towards the right side, then we are going to get the new equilibrium point. The new equilibrium point is F. In this situation, what we are seeing is price is not changing. Price is constant. The price is not changing. Can you see a single line? The price is not shifting upward, not shifting towards the downside. It is exactly the same. So you can see here, price can increase or decrease, otherwise it can be constant. So what we are seeing is price is constant. But what is the situation with the quantity? Quantity is also
also shifting towards right side. Can you see here? Demand is shifting towards right. Supply is also shifting towards right. And quantity is increasing. Quantity is increasing, that means it is shifting towards the right only. So this is the, the second situation. And with the same diagram, we will talk about the another situation which is moving towards left. So in this situation, just assume this is the supply curve and this is the demand curve, the actual one. So this is the actual equilibrium point which is F. So in the actual equilibrium, you have SS1, DD1 intersecting each other and we got the equilibrium point this. In this situation, supply is shifting towards the left side. Can you see arrow mark I have changed? Supply is shifting towards the left side and demand is also shifting towards the left side. So I have changed the arrow mark now. In this case, when the both are shifting towards left, that means the first situation. Demand is shifting towards the left. Supply is also shifting towards the left. So when both are shifting towards left, they both are equal at this point. This is called equilibrium at point E. They both are equilib equilibrium at this point. You can see here the price is constant. It is not shifting towards upward. Yeah, downward. So in this one, price is constant and quantity is shifting towards the left. The quantity is shifting towards left. That means quantity is decreasing. Demand and supply, they both are shifting towards left and quantity will be decreasing. Quantity is also shifting towards left side. That means quantity is also shifting towards left. That means what you have to understand is demand and supply. If both are shifting together in the same direction, that means quantity is also going to move in the same direction. So in the next diagram, in the next diagram you have panel B. In the panel B, I am explaining other two situations here. The situations where first one supply is shifting towards the right side. Supply is shifting towards the right side. Can you see this? Supply is shifting towards the right side. So this is the actual equilibrium point. The actual equilibrium point where SSO SSO and the DD0 SS0 and the DD0 they both are at equilibrium point. They both are equal. That point is point E, that's equilibrium. So in this situation, supply shifting towards the right side. You can see supply shifting towards the right side and demand is shifting towards the left side. The arrow mark, you can see demand is shifting towards the left side. The same thing here. Demand is shifting towards the left side and supply is shifting towards the right side. So in this situation, the quantity what you are seeing, the quantity it can increase, it can decrease, otherwise it can be constant. So it is constant here. In this situation, what we are seeing is, it was the actual equilibrium. When we got the new equilibrium, supply shifted towards the right and demand shifted towards the left. So when the price is actually decreasing, this is a new equilibrium point what we have got, point F. So new demand curve and the new supply curve intersecting here. In this point, what we are seeing is, price is decreasing. Price is coming towards downside. So you can see here, demand is shifting towards uh, left side. Supply is shifting towards the right side. The quantity is constant and price is decreasing. This is the situation. So now, I will come with one more situation which is the last situation. This is the situation. Same. 
constant not changing but price is increasing you can see the price is increasing can you see this so this way all the four situations two situations in this diagram and two situations in this diagram so in your textbook they have given only one direction if you change the direction you're going to get the another uh, example also so thank you so much i hope you got this uh, exact topic so if you're really liking my videos if you're able to understand my classes please do subscribe thank you so much